One of the biggest pitfalls when you're first starting iOS development is understanding what to do if things go wrong. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can solve common beginner mistakes. I recommend you watch this lecture even if you successfully completed the previous exercise, because chances are sooner or later you'll make one of these mistakes and it's good to know how to solve them. The first mistake you might make when writing some code here is to have a simple typo mistake. So let's say instead of N in UI Alert Controller, I hit an M and I might not realize it. So if I try to run the app by hitting the play button or hitting command R, I see an error occur. So I see it build fails up here. I see a red exclamation mark here and I see a red exclamation mark right there. The easiest way to see what's wrong is to just click this exclamation mark over on the side and a little pop-up will appear. And Xcode is pretty smart and a lot of times it will tell you what went wrong and sometimes even give you a button to fix. In this case, it actually did notice that I had a typo. I meant UI alert controller, but I spelled it wrong with UI alert controller. So if I click fix, it'll automatically fix that typo. Another common mistake you might get caught on is not realizing that Swift is case sensitive. So if I don't capitalize the A and add action and hit command B, it says UI alert controller has no member add action. So then I can just review, look, look over the code that I typed earlier and just say, ah, I meant to have a capital A. Another common mistake is missing a parentheses. So if you accidentally forget to close a parentheses and you build, it'll say, it expected a parentheses. Now, Xcode doesn't always give the error on the right spot. So even though I'm missing a parentheses here, it gives me a missing parentheses below. So you just wanna always make sure whenever there's an open parentheses, you have a closed parentheses that goes along with it. Now, the nice thing is as you type, you automatically see a nice little animation that shows you where that parentheses begins. A similar thing might happen if you miss a curly brace. So if I try to build this, it says, hey, something's not matching up, you're missing a curly brace. You just gotta go through and make sure you have things correct. Another common mistake is sometimes beginners might accidentally put their code in the wrong spot. For example, the show alert code is meant to go before this last curly brace here, but sometimes you might forget and put it afterwards like that instead. If you try to build that, you'll get an error that is kind of cryptic to you at this point. But what that means is you just put this in the wrong spot. So just make sure that it matches what I've done so far. There's one last beginner mistake I'd like to show you. So sometimes you're writing some code and you might change your mind and name something different. So let's say we had called this show alert, but maybe we wanna say, let's call this show, show hello alert instead. So if I build and run and tap the hit me button, nothing happens. In fact, it seems to crash. I get into the debugger here and whenever this happens, you might be confused and not knowing what's going on. The easiest way to identify what's going on is to bring up your console here. And this part's not very helpful, but if you scroll to the very top and look through the first message you see here, sometimes you can get some useful information out of it. And it's saying here that the view controller tried to call show alert, but there is no show alert. So what does that mean? Well, let's think about it. Back when I first wrote this app, I had connected the storyboard to the show alert method. Remember how we did that? Inside the view controller, we found that button here and we control dragged up like this to connect it. Well, we renamed the method and now it, it's trying to call something that doesn't exist anymore. So the way to check this is open up your utilities inspector and you see the touch up inside is still trying to connect to show alert, which isn't there anymore. So the way you fix this is by finding that and clicking the X here to get rid of that connection. Now to make it again, you just do it the same way you did before. You hold down control, drag up to the view controller, and now you reconnect it to the re renamed show hello alert. And now I can run this, tap the button, and it works as usual. Up until this point, so far we've been seeing errors from Xcode, which were in red but you can also get warnings from Xcode, which are yellow. What's the difference? Well, errors are fatal. If you get a red error, that means the app will not run and you have to fix it before you can proceed. Warnings, on the other hand, are just informative. Xcode is saying, well, you probably didn't mean to do this, but go ahead anyway. A general best practice is to think of warnings pretty much the same way as errors. Even though Xcode will let you run, it's better to just resolve the warning so it doesn't even show up in the first place. It won't prevent your app from having bugs, but at least it will prevent you from having silly mistakes.